bass, bass, titi, ta, eh. My guest today came to have a ball, a blast, a vibe, a scatter house, a Anybody that likes, they should say what they want to say, you know. They want us to like when you come out and start wearing rags. I think that's what Nigerians want and blocks, but they don't want to see you look good. Mm. Once you are looking good, yeah. <laughs> there's one man there's behind you. There's somebody sponsoring you. Yeah. Messi, AK, first female winner of BB Niger said to me. They said I do money laundry. They refer me to, there's one movie, oh, Zach. There was one time, I'm telling you, these people, they've dealt with me in this industry. We started from talking about the fact that somebody else, Fina, is now the second female will not be born in Niger and she says she's breathing a sigh of relief. I want to be able to like walk on the road with a man without people like, oh, oh, messy this. So I wanted somebody to come like, take it, let the vlogs focus on this person. <laughs> I try. <laughs> talk about it. everything else. A new friendship with Tacha, ended friendship with IK. When you see me walk out of something, mm -hmm. it's hard for me to come, come by. Right. I move, I move. Why she spoke out about the vile, IVD saga allegations. If they say I keep person, I keep the person. Let's go to court. If I'm proving guilty, let me go to jail. How she was the child that people told her mother to take out. So it really messed with her that she wanted to, like to get mm. me out. Then she was going to the farm. She would climb something. She would fall so that I would go. But it's me, I stop on. Stop on. Okay, we are taking it But she's now the child giving her mother so much joy. My mother is like. One of the happiest people. She, my mother in that sleep. She, she she's just sleeping. She's, she's just, enjoying life. She's enjoying life. She wake up, eat what she wants to eat. Why she cannot even be distracted by people who are accusing her of her accent? I've cast out so so many times with my Igbo accent. <laughs> I was born in a way. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a way. I schooled in a way. Mm -hmm. And you want me to have American or UK accent? You are mad. <laughs> <laughs> and why she said in July this year that she was tired of life and that money is not everything. I've been in the moment and I'm like, I wish that was like a four days journey. Hmm. I will go and come back. Messi, aka, aka Lamborghini with Chide today. Right, welcome. You lost your dad this year. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Were you close to him? Yeah, I lost my dad this year, early this year, I think April, April 1st. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I thought it was April Fool, but <laughs> it wasn't. So I waited for them to tell me, oh, it's not. Yeah. But it's what it is. I'm not really close to my dad. I'm closer to my mom than my dad. Right. Maybe growing up, I wasn't really close to him. Mm -hmm. But now that, okay, when he fell sick, we became closer, yeah, because mm -hmm. it's just me. Mm -hmm that he was depending on, so we became, uh, yeah, really right, closer. Right, right, right. So you became closer. Did you become closer after, around the time of the show? Or yeah. Yes? Okay, around the time Yeah, of the around show. the time of the show. Then when I came out, it was the time he needed me the right, most. And, right. yeah. yeah. And you, you were not reluctant to reconnect with him? No, that's what I've ever wanted. Like, it's something I really wanted to, like, and I hate the fact that it's now coming, the time I wanted to show him, like, something else you know mm. your daughter has made it yeah has accomplished so much so this is the time for him to like enjoy himself he now became <coughs> sick and he couldn't really do much he couldn't travel like when i won the show it was, was it was my uncle that represented him because he couldn't come I remember that yes that's yeah. why i asked yeah yeah and how's your mom doing my mom is doing great she's uh, she's not used to being without my dad Right. Yeah. Right. So they were together. They were together. Yeah, they were oh, together. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. She's been with him. Part of the reason I was asking that question mm -hmm. is you, you've had a rough time <laughs> with sections of the media. <laughs> <laughs> but did you find that at this moment of mm -hmm. grief, that people respected your privacy and respected your grief, or did that madness continue? The media did not res they did not respect me in any way or respected the fact that I lost my dad. So they yeah. kept doing what they were doing, even the day of the funeral. Even the day. Yeah, I had uh, there's this blogger that came to the village to, I don't know his or her reason, to see maybe, <laughs> I don't know what they are thinking or planning, but yeah, they were disappointed because they thought, oh. They thought you were not going to attend your own father's burial. No, they thought I came from a bush. Oh. So they were like, oh, she deceived us in the house. She gave us the story of the purpose. She has, they have a nice house. Oh. So they came to like, okay, Embarrass. see that. Yes. And while I was in the house, I never, I never sold myself as a poor girl. 
even during the shows, then when we're, I mean, the, yeah, the, the tax, mm. I always tell them, yes, I love to win. I'm very competitive. So when I don't win, I show it. Everybody see that I'm sad that I didn't win. Even one time, I'm like, fraud, is it because of this money? Outside, I can dash. So there's no time I sold myself as a poor person. I'm not rich, but I didn't come for the show to, I was myself. There was a time we were talking, I told them, oh, I had GL, you know, my close friends, oh, mm -hmm. I have a Mercedes Benz, you know? Mm -hmm. I saw those things. So when they say, oh, I, I sold the poor, this thing, I never did that in the mm. show. So they came to like, ah, she told to us she was, you. yeah, to expose me. And I wasn't, I came from a nice background and mm. that's it. I don't think it's acceptable for people to, on a day of grief, there should be at least a ceasefire. Yeah, <laughs> no, they don't know, you know what it is. I don't think they have families. You know, I feel like these bloggers are just like, maybe offense people without emotion, people that mm. doesn't, because once in a while, no matter how bad you think you are, you should like, you should take a day off yeah. and just breathe and yeah. just just breathe. But yeah. they don't. Every day is war. Mm. Yeah, it's war for them. So Every they will day keep, is war. Yeah, they will keep fighting themselves. Does your mother ever hear about any of these stories and does she get worried about any of them for you? No, my mom is not on social media. Good. But my brothers, my cousins, but they won't tell her. This but when I do like things, maybe when I launch something, buy something, they will go and show her. Ah, I see like her that car. one. They should okay. continue like that. But she doesn't know what they're talking. She doesn't yeah. know nothing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's leave this. Move to <laughs> thing. You're the first female, you know, big BB Niger winner. Yeah. Yes. Now there's a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, how did you feel about that? Honestly speaking, yes. between man and God, I've been waiting for someone to take up like that rule. Really? So that, yeah, so that I wanted to like rest. I feel like I'm carrying so much burden. Uh, um, so much is expected from me. Mm. So I, I've been waiting for someone like let that pressure move. I want to rest. I want to live like every other girl. I want to be able to like walk on the road with a man without people like, oh, oh, messy this. So I wanted somebody to come like take it, let the blogs focus on this person. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Honestly speaking, yeah, right, I've been right. waiting because I know when someone comes yes, in, yeah. at least I will rest. I mm -hmm. want to do something like, you know, go out, do, be crazy. I'm still young. If I don't mm -hmm. live this life now, what am I going to do? When I'm life. So, yeah, I've been, I'm happy a girl came. Mm -hmm. I was actually very surprised because you also did a responding this mm -hmm. year, you know, when you came on your, I think, Snapchat or Instagram Live, mm -hmm. ATC, to talk about how they had been harassing you mm -hmm. over the whole... Mm -hmm. It's live IV, video. The live yeah. video over it's the whole IVD yeah. issue. And I was surprised because I know that usually... I will never... Got so why did that one touch you? Why did you feel the need to respond to that one? This blogger, the person has been on my case forever. Right. This person has tarnished me more than anything. In and I've never responded to this person. This thing started, I think, when I was in the house. Okay. This is what I heard and I saw screenshots too. When I came out, I saw... When this whole thing started, one of my fans now released something where this blogger like asked for 200k or something, and they did not give the person, and that person vowed that she w she or he would deal with me. Yeah. But now I'm not in the house. You can't deal with me based on whoever that is handling my page. I, I didn't even know about this, and they cleaned it up before I came out. When they handed my phone over to me, I didn't see a lot of things, so I can't pay for what I did not know. Yeah. That was what I heard, and that was screenshot of it then though they deny that it was all from whatever and since then i've not rested is every day there's no story mm -hmm. that this blogger will not involve me mm -hmm. till that one mm -hmm. and i won't respond okay if you say i do it yes i did it and mm -hmm. you come and be me but this person is first of all someone just died mm -hmm. there's a case of domestic violence mm -hmm. like and this woman i know this woman we are friends right. we'll talk right. people see that and then Something that I didn't know nothing about, you just from nowhere, you put my name, mm. that I'm sleeping with this person. Mm, mm, mm. My manager, my peer, they, they, every time they say, don't, sometimes I want to talk, they say, don't talk, you don't need to, you know, that one, they say, no, 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 mm. Mercy, I think it's time for you to, for once, defend mm. yourself, mm, you are mm. not handicapped, that you can defend, go, do what you want to do, because I called my lawyer, I, let's release it, say no. It's not about releasing press. You have to let them know. Mm. I saw even when I started, like people started calling me. They wanted, uh, you don't know. I have to like Respond I to that one. was I needed to do that right. for once. And I know I'm not ever. 
If they say I keep person, I keep the person. Let's go to court. If I'm proving guilty, let me go to jail. That mm. is the first and last I'm going to respond to anything. Mm. But I needed to clear that one right. because this person is over. It's four years now, mm -hmm. and you messy, messy, messy. I did not. Mm -hmm. I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I see something about me from this particular blogger. Mm -hmm. I would be like, how? How did I get here? Every gist. But I think I, I bring traffic to her page or to his page, yeah. Mm -hmm. If my name is not there, it's not going to trend. So once people say, hey, they say, some people will say, it's true, it's true. She did it because she's been saying it and I've been keeping quiet. Right. Do you think that female housemates, and especially you as a female winner, gets more heat than male housemates? Of course, obviously. Yeah. Why? I feel like we get more jobs. Because we are female, there are, there are little or more men can do mm. in this place. Mm. Me, I can do clothing, inf I can influence for clothes, hair, makeup, body enhancement, yes. so many things you I can, can do. You can do house business, car, anything, yeah. anything. airlines, etc. Yes. So you can do the one that the men can do, uh, and, and there's do so much more that you can do. Yeah, that the men cannot do. Yes. So yes. we come out, okay. we are like, okay, brands want to, and then you. We we'll do things like me. I like to like live my life, my simple life. I like to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. So when they see you are living happily, mm -hmm. so they like to target to, oh, so she's been sponsored. Someone mm -hmm. is bankrupt. So that's mm -hmm. why we get back. They don't want you to. They want us to like when you come out, and start wearing rags. I think that's what Nigerians want and blocks. But they don't want to see you look good. Mm -hmm. Once you are looking good, yeah. <laughs> there's one man. There's somebody you. sponsoring you. Yeah. I mean, we know mm -hmm. that you've been doing business mm -hmm. before you enter yeah. into the Big Brother mm -hmm. house. And if you are a woman who has been doing business and hustling and working, is there a particular offense? Like you can look at other, insults, other things and ignore it, but that one of sleeping with it's a man It's very, very offensive. Yeah. And I feel like it's taking away all the effort, all the sleepless night, all the hard work we women put to get to where we are. They will just take everything away from you and just tag it. Yeah. Someone is behind you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing for someone to be behind you. Mm. If, if you have a, a, a rich boyfriend or somebody, if he loves you, some people's love language might be taking care of you, buying you nice and giving you money. I don't care. However, we you can, will still work hard. Yes, because you can dismiss the entire person's work exactly. as somebody is sponsoring the person. And say someone, every time someone is sponsoring. Is it easy? Why is someone not sponsoring that you people and your sisters? <laughs> Yes, I get yeah, that. Yeah, because if it's easy like that, because every time they target men, men, oh, my own. They say I do money laundry. They refer me to, there's one movie, oh, Zach, there was one time, I'm telling you, these people, they've dealt with me in this industry. Hmm. I came to this industry without no help, no advice, nothing. I know hmm. nothing about it. Just myself and my team, I started building my brand. Hmm. There's nothing they've not attached to my name that sometimes I say, yeah. Do I really have this kind of money? Jesus. Because before they say someone is doing money laundry or mm, something. Yeah, that, that means, means most, um, I've seen money that they've not, you've not seen yes. before. Yes. And sometimes when I, maybe I never chop that day <laughs> safe. I go, Jesus, I reach for public eye. And that's probably my, this thing, my helper there, you know. <laughs> my helper is there thinking I have money and I don't have. <laughs> okay, so you depart, wait, wait. Let us, let us, if they cry, make with the sea road. That's nine million motto. Second house. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I know that money has levels, but you have. No, but I'm okay. Like, yes, I'm, you are I'm, very okay. I'm very okay. Yes, and I mean, they, they, I, don't, I don't think anybody needs to make you deny mm -mm. that you have done well for yourself. I have. Yeah, I yeah. have. Yeah. and I've not started. I've not moved into my banana island that I cry. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they are crying. I have not done what, like, I have goals, I have things that every night when I'm sleeping, oh my God. I'm yeah, you're thinking about But I'm it. grateful for where I am. Mm. But I'm still going somewhere. Still going and somewhere. they will be alive to see it. Because I'm love going it. there. You, they will be alive to yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, they will be alive to see it. Mm. So the flip side of, mm -hmm. of, oh, of it being difficult, and I think you've answered that, but the flip side of it being more difficult for females, mm -hmm. So is it, it's, it's obviously a mixed blessing because some people will say you get it easier because mm. you're female, mm. because you're getting more jobs, more opportunities, mm. like you said. So it's a mixed bag, isn't it? It's not all negative or positive. It's a mix of both. No, I think getting this job is based on individual this thing. Right. Because right. it's not all it's not the girls. all the females that get yeah. the jobs. You might right. get one job today and you mess it up. That's what I always tell them. Brands are watching. Mm. The way you market this brand will make the other brand want to work with you. Mm. So you won't see me that I'm flexing, even the female. I'm talking about the female ones now. You say, oh, it's not by using, she's in. The, no, I'm, there's so much money 
in this industry. And I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. There's so much money in the industry. But you have to, you have to let, I, I, I've heard about lots of, you know, influencers, how they mm. work, their work ethics, they are difficult to work with. There's no way, because as they're moving, they're telling another brand, hmm, that girl, she's ah, she difficult though, except she get patience, that kind of thing. It spoils your market. Mm. And you mm. see me, I come there, they say it's 100 hours, I'll, be, I'll stay there 100 hours, and they will go and refer me to another brand. And you yeah. see me and you think I'm getting job more than the guys. No, it's not. It's, a, it's just individual. Yeah, and you're saying that that matters. That's the difference between the people that succeed after big weather yes. and those that don't. It matters a lot, but they don't know. But they don't. No matter know. how much you have, you see that my 1,000 is very important to me. Mm -hmm. I want to add it to my 59K to make my money 60K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my Igbo girl. Yeah, I want to say it's the Igbo girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, but some people, when they have 59K, they feel they like get 1K distracted. is nothing. It's something. It's yeah. going to make it. It's going to top it up. It's going to top it up. It's going to top it up. <laughs> I'm going to do this. <laughs> yes. It's going to top it off. Yeah. You know, some of the uh, fans, mm -hmm. commenters, have mm -hmm. attacked you for your accent, mm -hmm. which I think is nonsense mm -hmm. because I don't know why people think that is something to attack somebody yeah. for. But does that kind of thing affect you? Or do you own your Ibo-ness fully? I've cashed out with that thing now. <laughs> I've cashed out so, <laughs> so many times with my Ibo accent. <laughs> uh -huh. So it is obvious that it's not even, in fact, it's a good thing. I'm even looking for something to say that will I'll go and do mesh with the team. <laughs> Maybe it's ah, Maybe we should find one that I just... I hope I'm leaving one bad ghost. Please, don't leave that one. Push go and it. push it. Push it. Let me use it and see. It's crazy. Ah, yeah. Ah. But that's true. I was born in a way. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a way. I schooled in a way. Mm. And I didn't go to the best of schools. As long as I know, I went from community central school to girls secondary school to Imo State University. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was when, after university, I left. Mm -hmm. And you want me to have American or UK accent. You are mad. <laughs> oh my God. Very I'm mad. Sorry. I forgot I'm on set. I forgot I'm on set. <laughs> okay, let's go out of that. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Let's talk about you as you. Let's remove Big Brother. Let's yeah. remove all of these things. You. What is the thing that drives you? Success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it drives me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I wish I had gone to like, you know, all these private schools, private universities. Mm -hmm. So that drives me. Because I want to be able to like have kids tomorrow so they won't go through what I went through. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. give my children a beautiful life, beautiful mm -hmm good education, like good medical fast, you know, that kind mm. of privileges. Yeah, that's what I want to give to my kids. So mm. I don't want them to go what, like everything I know today, I've taught myself. Maybe this is a sense from TV, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that drives yeah. me so sad just to, you know, make my life better. Now, mm. if I want to go back to school, mm -hmm. I have the resources to go back to yeah. any kind of school yeah. I want. Yeah. If if it's what money can do, you know, some schools it's not about money, but if it's what money can do, there's no school that I cannot be able to put myself through. To. Mm, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's why I'm working hard just yeah. to like not to go back to where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, but I won't forget it because it's what is also driving. I've been there. I've roasted con. Everybody knows my story. I've done the sold fuel, mm -hmm. mama put, you know. So those are the things that oh, I don't want to go back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's one that wants to turn test life. Ha. Glad to. They want to continue chopping Glad it. To. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's chip away Big Brother. Let's chip away okay. all of that. What do you want to be known for? Before Big Brother, I read psychology in school. Right. And I wanted to, like, you know, further my education, do criminology. Okay. Yeah, as okay. a second, then maybe law. Okay. Then I wanted to have like a rehab, a rehabilitation center. That was like my growing up dream, Dreams. things I wanted to like have. Right. So that time I used to tease my cosmetics. When they you know, make first class, and I'd be like, don't worry, I'll hire you. When I open this, you could come and walk you in. You might be my CFO. Yeah, hey, come on there. So, so you know that kind of, but now I feel like life is, even though maybe one day I might still like go back to that. But I want people to to remember or to know me as that, should I say serial entrepreneur? Mm, mm, Maybe. Mm. But I said that I still want to like, I have my foundation. Mm. That foundation, I want to start, you know, taking it serious. I want to build people. I want to build a community of successful people. Right. I started right. it, I did um, 
I think I, I, I've helped like 20 women to start mm. up their business and I see them always online. Mm. There's this particular one, her, she, she sells um, perfumes and I see her, so she posts it, every day she posts, she tagged me to mm. see what, what she has yeah, done. So that is something I want to do. When people think about me, they'll be like, oh, this is what she has done. She helps people, she has, you know, uplifted more women because I'm all about the, the girl child, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Where did that desire to succeed come from? Uh, I think my my background, my mom, you know, growing up without having so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that is where it is. So I wanted to like, and I know what if it's, I've, I've been in that shoe, like I've, I've, I've tested poverty. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, that. So that's the driver. That's the driver. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever imagine that you would be in this kind of position at some point in your life, especially before 30? Mm, no, 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 yeah, no, I've never, I auditioned four times. So yes, yeah, yes, so, four times. Yeah. Yeah. What's the thing that made you keep thinking, you know what, this is what trying again and again. How could you not have given up? Because I just have that thing. I don't know that voice in me that I always say, this is where your redemption will come. This is where you make it. This is, so each year when they say, oh, try again next year, I still have like that thing in my head. Okay, next year I'll try. Mm. I just have it, okay, what will I do to make me like, to make me this person that I want to be, to mm. make me famous? Then it was just to be famous. So what is it if I start out and say, ah, that is actress, they said, they've been for 10 years old. Nobody knows them. Hey, I'll start from the Be brother. You know? So that thing, because yeah, I know a lot of, it's not like they're not, but most of them, yeah, yeah you don't really like know them. Unlike, this show is like it's three months, but everybody is everybody gonna... knows <laughs> almost everybody who was on it. Yeah, yes. so mm, yeah, mm. I knew it was gonna come from a show like that. The so voice was telling you this was going to be your redemption, and that and you you just followed that voice. Mm -hmm. I see. When I was in school, mm -hmm. I auditioned for Good Earth Message. No, I didn't audition. I did my form. I don't know which of my roommates stole right. that from the day of the um, what's it called. Audition. Of the audition. I'm telling you, I couldn't find my form. It disappeared in my room. Somebody in your room stole the good message yes. from the field. Yes, and I was ready to go back to go to the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> so that day I came out, it was in the morning. I think my audition was in Putakon. Yeah. Ha -ha, this thing I printed, I couldn't find it. Someone removed it. Wow. And I felt like it's a sign. <laughs> Even though at then I was so mad, I hated them. I was like, somebody is a witch, they don't want me to prove, you know. But now I feel like it was that wasn't where God has mm -hmm. you know ordained yeah. for me. Like it's, it's not His plan for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why it didn't. Maybe what if I was going and I you know so, so it's now that I'm like okay, God actually knew because then I was doing this one and this audition came. I was auditioning for people and this one. I said okay, since this mm -hmm. one they don't want to take me, let me go and try this one. Good at message. And that day it happened that I couldn't find my form and that was how I did not go. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to give up. Like I said, I'm very. I don't know how to give up. I don't know how to give yeah. up. Yeah, I don't know how to give up. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I will ever give up. Like, I have to keep trying. That's just it. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, then it will work out mm. next time. Mm. Maybe that mm. is not your... T I tell people that is not your... T people are like, oh, what do you... I say, see, no matter what you say, that year was my year to win Big Brother. It was ordained. Yes. God would have still done something because it, it has been written mm -hmm. and nothing would have stopped it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. But anything that didn't work out in your favor, there's nothing you could have done. I heard the story about that when you were, that when you were, before you were born, mm -hmm. your mother tried to, <laughs> is it a true story? Your mother tried to abort you before you were born. So she didn't try to abort me, just okay. that um, when she was pregnant, right. There is this auntie of mine. She has already had five children. Who your mother already had five children? Yeah, okay. she has already had five children. Mm -hmm. Then this last one, which is me. Which is you. She had four girls and one boy. Right. So when that my auntie came, she was like, Ah, Emilia, let me speak it in Igbo. Here your women or like she, you know, touch it's it. Another pregnancy. Yeah, is this another pregnancy? We thought this thing see was Sarah Helen. We thought these children you dump here. Mm. So that thing mess mess with her mental like. Yeah. Then I don't know mental health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really messed with her that she wanted to, like to get mm. me out. Then she was going to the farm. She would climb something. She would fall so that I would go. But me, I stop on. I stop on. Okay, we are That's how I was there. Yeah, but yeah. it happened. It, it was a true story. Like right. she wanted me to, cause every day, ah, you're pregnant again. Yeah. You've not feel the ones you have. You know that kind of. 
yeah. thing. So she wanted like, okay, maybe, maybe let me just get her off and train these ones. If that would, if that would make them like leave me alone, but I had to stop. It to stop. Had to stop. Them. Two questions. What made her share the story with you? Was it something that happened that made her say she would tell you this story? Yeah. When now I think she just told me this story. Oh, well, recently. Recently. Ah. Yeah. She one day she was like, ah, she wished that person is alive to, to see, see that that girl that she wanted to about that yeah, time like yeah. i've grown to become something mm. yeah that was how she told me the story mm. just to like she's happy with me she's happy mm. that she didn't like remove me or bought me and she's happy i didn't die mm. and she ha she she was happy that she gave birth to me like she mm. took that risk given without anything yeah. because now my mother is like one of the happiest people she, my mother in that sleep she's she's just sleeping she she's just, enjoying life. She's enjoying life. She yeah. wakes up, eats what she wants to eat. So now she's happy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. You know, one of the things I've become really famous from the Big Brother are these ships. Mm -hmm. And you're one of the original shippers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like now people go into the house mm -hmm. thinking that that's a strategy to win. It is ETC. Do you see that? And do you think that they're wasting their time? Very big <laughs> Very big, big, big one. At the biggest scam. Why? Because they would think that's a strategy that worked for you. Then it was original. It wasn't now, a strategy. Yeah, it wasn't a strategy. Mm. In fact, if I knew whether I wouldn't have been in that ship, I would have played the game. If I knew I was old, strong in the house, that people mm. really like me, I would have played. Because it wasn't a strategy, it's just something that happened mm. and we flow with it. And mm. even when you are not happy in the relationship, you yeah. put on a show mm. for some people that they, they might not even have relationships in their life. And you're, giving, you're putting on the show for people that may not even have relationships in their lives. Yes. And you stay there. You know, when something happens, like, but if it's not working out, you, you move and something. But because you have <laughs> money case now, mm -hmm. if you call it, they won't give you again. So you'll be there. Yeah. And you're yeah. suffering. And you're suffering. Yes. Was it the pressure that ended the relationship between you and IK? Oh, no, I don't even want to you talk, don't want talk about, about that. No, I don't okay. want to talk about All right, that. Right. But are you still friends? And that's fine. Are you still friends with many of your sets, you know, in the Big Brother house? Yes, almost, yeah. almost all of them. Right. Is there anyone you're not friends with? No. Right. So everybody, including IK, you're friends with all of them? Well, I'm not friends with him anymore. Right. Yeah. But the other housemates you're friends with? Yeah. I hardly get angry, and I've mm. said, mm. and I don't carry things in mind, but when you see me walk out of something, mm. it's hard for me to come, come by. Right. I move, I move. Because I'm Munya and Sobu, I'm going to ask mm -hmm. that I used friends with Tacha too. Yes. Right, right. Yes. Tacha is my fave. I love I Tacha. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. We're friends. We'll talk right. to each other. We'll, we'll talk on the phone. Right, right. We're we'll cool. Right. I love that. That's, that's good energy. That's the energy you need around you, isn't it? Oh, we've grown. Yeah. There was a Snapchat post that you did this mm -hmm. year where you were like, oh, fame is not everything. Yeah. I'm tired of this mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. What was that about? Because that's not the energy that I'm sitting down with you. That's not the energy of the person I'm sitting down with. So what was going on in that time? Was it a joke? Was it, it a passing phase? What? It wasn't a joke. Imagine having everything mm -hmm. and you still like not that genuinely like real happy. Even with all these things I've achieved in my life, I still have that, that mm -hmm. thought that I'm not really like 100% genuinely happy for myself. And it's not how life is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the phase I was that going was through that time. Right, Did you, but you've come out of that phase? Yes, yes, I have come out of that phase. <laughs> <laughs> what is the thing you're most grateful for at this time? For life, I'm grateful to, for being alive. Because I have been in a time that I'm like, I've been in a moment I'm like, I wish that was like a four days journey. Hmm. I will go and come back. Mm. I just want to shut down, like close my eyes, come back. Yes, I've contemplated on that. Well, thank God. I'm out of that. It's not like I've, I want to die, but I feel like I just said I wish it was like a four days journey. You can one just week, shut down, go away, go come away, back. nobody, and then come back. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but you're grateful for life now. Yeah, I'm grateful, grateful for, for life. life. Yes. And, you are, and you know, and you are, and you're rocking the life. You know, your bed days. <laughs> you don't play with your bed days. No, no. Your fans don't play with your bed days. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> so next year we're going to be celebrating again your bed. Yes, day. it's my thirtieth. It's your thirtieth. Oh, I'm big thirtieth. Are they even ready? <laughs> <laughs> Are they even, even ready? ready? And on that note, we end this interview <laughs> with Mercy AK. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having this me. Show. This was a blast. Oh, thank you. <laughs>